Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007, and today we're looking at Admin GUI. Now, this is a really fantastic plugin to manage your server and players through a simple and really nice looking GUI. It's easy to use, so if we do forward slash admin, that's going to bring up the GUI, and there's some different buttons in here. So if we click quit, obviously that's going to exit out, but if we go back into it, we can go into the world button. So this has two things it has the day and night button and the weather button. And it's simply a toggle, so you click it to turn it on and off or to select through all the options. So we've got clear, rain and thunder for the weather options. And if we go back, we can go into the options for myself. So there's loads of different options here and we can go through them. So I could try and set myself on fire if I wanted to. And if we go back into it, we can go into the game mode option and toggle through this. So we can go into spectator mode. We can go into survival mode if we click back into it. And then we can go into obviously the other two, adventure and creative. So let's go back to that, just toggle through it. One more, there's creative. You can toggle on and off God mode, which is pretty awesome. You can add potion effects. So we can set the amount of time we have it for really easily by clicking this down here. The time is in minutes. And then we can also remove any potions we have at the moment and select the level as well. And then we have all of the potions up here. So we could add speed potion and run super fast for 20 minutes. Then if we go back into it and obviously go back into potions to remove this effect and then click back, we can go into the spawner section. So in here we can spawn any of these animals really easily. Uh, so let's just go pick one at random. So the Vindicator, that's uh, that's quite a new mob. That's pretty cool. And you know, it's as easy as that. So what else can we do? If we do four slash admin, go into maintenance mode we can turn on and off maintenance mode for our server through this plugin. So for the next demonstration, I needed my other account to join the server. There is another section to do with all of the players on the server. They will be listed here. And what you can do, you can click into whichever one you want and do various things with them. So if you go into actions, there's loads of options here. We can teleport to them if we wanted to. And as you can see, here we are. If we go back into it and select on his name, we can go into the spawner section and then spawn those different animals next to him like we did with ourselves. There we go. And they just randomly appeared next to him. He'll be very confused. And then if we go back into players, we can look at all the different options here. You can kick and ban him if you want to. But if we go into actions, we can look in his inventory, which is pretty cool, and even refresh it. We can do other stuff like killing him, burning him, healing him, giving him food, uh, which is pretty awesome depending on how nice you're feeling. And then we go into potion effects and we could even, in fact give him a potion effect such as invisibility for example and he has disappeared completely for one minute then if we go back into him we can look at his health and how much food he has so we can heal him we can give him some food um, and then we can in fact change his uh, god mode and set him on fire so there he is that invisible flame is going to be my other account which is pretty awesome so then if we go back into him again, we can check his inventory if we were to give him some items. So let's go ahead and give him just a load of dirt, if I can do the command correctly. So it would be dirt a thousand. And then if we go forward slash admin, open up the inventory, and then we should be able to see a thousand dirt in his inventory. There we go, simple as that. And then because he cheated to get the dirt, we could kill the player. And if we go back, we can also kick the player. So it gives you five different reasons for kicking the player. So hacking, griefing, spamming, advertising, and swearing. And we could click whichever one we wanted. So my other account is in fact op at the moment. Uh, so what we can do is actually de-op him and then this will work. So if we do full slash admin, go into players, go into Chris, and then click kick for advertising, he'll be kicked from the game. And let's have a look at that message that he'll get. So imagine he joins the game again and he doesn't stop. We might have to ban him for advertising. So click on ban and we can change the amount of time. So let's go ahead and choose five minutes and one hour. And then we can click the reason, so advertising. And let's go have, have a look at what that looks like. And there we go. That's as simple as it gets. It's a really fantastic plugin and it's just got so many awesome options. So if you want to download a plugin, head over to the Spigot link in the description. As you can see, there is a lot of information here. It's supported on 1.12 to 1.14, and um, there's a new version 
soon to support lower versions. And then if we go down here, you can see you can contact the developer if you have any issues. We've got all the permissions here and any uh, translations that you want if you speak English or Chinese. So that is it. It was updated yesterday, in fact, so it's um, regularly being updated. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.